Hello, I'm Jay with Boss Laser. Today we're going to be going over your limit switch diagnostics on your Generation 4 machine and your gen Generation 3 machine. Some of the parts and tools involved, you have your proximity limit switch, you have your mechanical limit switch, you ha uh, have a lens removal tool which is used to trigger your proximity limit switch. To access the diagnostic screen, press the ZU on your display pad, go up to diagnosis, press enter, and it'll display all of the limit switches that are engaged at the moment. We'll start with the generation four machine, which in the back has a proximity switch that limits the machine from going back too far. You see in the back now, proximity switch is located right here. It's initiated or engaged by a limit switch plate that goes over the front of it, which is just like your lens removal tool. As you can see, the red light activates when a piece of metal goes over it. And every time that activates, it turns the diagnosis light on on your display pad. For the hood protect, it's protected by a mechanical limit switch that has a prong that pushes down a button when the hood is closed. And that also turns on the light on your diagnostic. With the mechanical limit switch on the hood, is wired normally open. On the side has a prong that comes out with the wire attached to it and the next one up has a wire attached to it as well which is wired normally open. Generation 3 machines have mechanical limit switches instead of proximity limit switches but they work in the same manner. If you were to slide your gantry all the way to the back it initiates that metal prong that pushes down which you can check from your diagnostic screen. And it is wired the same way, normally open, which is one wire to the side, and the next prong holds the next wire. And that's how to diagnose any problems with your limit switches on your Generation 3 and Generation 4 machines. Have a great day.